Yeah! Guys, finally it's here. PyMega 1.5 from my dear friend Chris Edwards. Now we're gonna test his new image and I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I have been, I'm just so excited, man. But why am I doing this, man? Let's just, let's, let's remove this MS-DOS image. We don't need DOS images here, guys. We need something else. We need something much, much more fun. We are going to install another card in here. And the other card is actually this one, this little SanDisk Ultra 32 gigabyte. Now, when you do something like this, you have to shut it down the proper way. But uh, I just pulled out the cable. Don't do it like that. So we just removed the dust card and we installed the 32 megabyte PyMega 1.5 light version from Chris Edwards. I'm gonna put a link to his, to his video where I have the link to download this image. It's ready to go. You are going to enjoy your Amiga emulation. By Amiga. By Amiga. That's Chris's voice over there. Now what I'm using is the old version Raspberry Pi 3B plus model B. Wow, it looks nice. This is 19 by 1000. And um, let's just adjust the camera just a bit like that. All right. So Chris says that this image has been made for the Raspberry Pi 4 or the 400, you know, the one that, that's built in a keyboard. But I am using it on a Pi 3. He said that it will work on a Pi 3 also, but it's not the best. It's not compiled for this but i'm just gonna use this to listen to some music this is awesome man i'm gonna you know have it in my living room just raspberry pi 3 i'm gonna just put on some mods and listen to them where are the games we have got pi 1.5 light edition 8 megabyte of chip ram and 112 megabyte of fast ram this is great man I mean, uh, I will have, I, I will buy a Raspberry Pi 4 someday. Oh, this is nice. Uh, so let's go. Then we have iGame. I hope that Chris has installed the arcade game selector. I love that one. I'm not into iGame. Chris, if you didn't install it, I hope you will install it at version, you know, 1.6. <laughs> All right, so let's go down to uh, all eyes. <laughs> Everything is just so small and the mouse is just so fast. I have to adjust this. There we go, Turkey in two. Let's just give it a go and, um, and see what happens. Something's wrong with the sound, but this, I mean, it's an emulation, guys, so... Yeah. <laughs> wow! Red 3 Something's definitely wrong here. Let me see, let me see. CPU, FPU, 68030. Uh, fastest. Let's remove JIT and make it more compatible. Ah, that was nice. That was awesome. My favorite Turkan sound. Great bath. Duh. What, man? It still had some cuts in the music. Wait. Uh, it 
it's hard to read. Wait, let's take another game with great music. Dragon. Dream. Dune. Please wait. Saving game list. I think Raspberry 3 is not the way to go with this image. <laughs> oh yes, this is nice. Remember guys, we're only emulating. Oh, we have some graphical errors there. Ja, ich bin der Vater. <laughs> okay. Oh, the mouse is too. It should switch the music now. You. Oh man. It runs so bad. Oh, 60. Oh, 40, sorry. Okay, we're run, running at all 40. We are going to open Eagle Player. And it loads. What? No songs? It crashed. Oh, there we go. There's the songs. It's just... This image you just have to uh, put in Kickstart uh, 3.1 for you to make it 1200. I did that and I just and I also expanded the SD card as it said in the documentation. 030. Let's remove JIT. That that helped. Chipset AGA, yes. RAM 8, yeah. Yeah, and this is my Kickstart ROM. Okay, okay, uh, let's just uh, stop this video and came like this. No, no. All right, guys, let's uh, end this video by saying uh, again, thank you for making this image. It's incredible, but don't use it on a Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to order a Raspberry Pi 4 and I'm going to make another video because this this is not enjoyable, man. <laughs> yeah. Have a great day out there, guys. Bye.